We have with us Mr. Alan Forlemu, Regional Industry Director, Financial Institutions Group, Asia and Pacific, International Finance Corporation. I'd like to please invite uh, Mr. Alan Forlemu to please come on stage. And ladies and gentlemen, if we have your attention, can we have an attentive round of applause as well? So that we know that we are good to get the session started. And thank you very much, Mr. Forlemu, for joining us at GFF 2024. Over to you, sir. Good afternoon. It's truly an honor to be here at the Global FinTech Festival. Today we're discussing a topic that I believe is not just critical for the future of finance, but for the future of the entire world. The role of FinTech in driving the shift towards a greener and more equitable future. I know we've all heard the buzzwords sustainable finance, green bonds, ESG reporting. But what do these terms really mean to us? More importantly, how does FinTech fit into this picture? Let's start with the basics. What exactly is sustainable finance? Sustainable finance refers to financial practices that integrate environmental, social, and governance, that is ESG, considerations to generate long-term benefits for both the economy and society. It involves directing investments towards solving global challenges like climate change, biodiversity loss, and social inequality. At its core, sustainable finance consists of two primary components. Climate finance, which supports environmental sustainability, and social finance, which focuses on inclusivity and equality. Around the world, governments, institutions, and businesses are coming together to push forward sustainable finance, recognizing that finance is a powerful tool for creating change. Here in India, we've already seen major strides in this direction. India launched its first sovereign green bond, valued at nearly a billion US dollars, marking a significant national commitment to sustainability. The Reserve Bank of India has been pushing for greater transparency with new guidelines on climate risk disclosures. And in the capital markets, we've seen innovative frameworks for blue bonds, focusing on sustainable water economy, alongside critical efforts to prevent greenwashing. FinTech lies at the heart of this transformation, providing the tools and innovations to supercharge sustainable finance. But it's not just about innovation for its own sake. It's about building systems that protect privacy, enhance security, and most importantly, serve people equitably. Now let's take a closer look at three key trends shaping this future. The first trend I'd like to highlight is financial inclusion, a concept that's not just about providing access to banking services for all segments of society, but ensuring financial products and services are affordable, delivered in a timely manner, and offered in a responsible and sustainable way. Fintechs are playing a critical role here by breaking down barriers and extending financial services to those who were previously excluded particularly in developing economies. Today, they are offering solutions that are not only more accessible, but also faster and easier. For instance, the International Finance Corporation, IFC, has been investing in early stage fintechs like Mintify, reaching over 24,000 borrowers as of June 2024 in India, providing the unbanked 
and underserved with streamlined financing options that are more convenient and efficient. On a global scale, IFC has invested in hundreds of fintechs across Africa, Asia, and Latin America, driving financial inclusion at scale. The second trend is the rapid rise of green fintech products. That is financial products specifically designed to address climate change. In Africa, for example, IFC works with MCOPA, a fintech platform that combines embedded GSM technology with mobile payments to enable solar home system financing. This innovative pay-as-you-go model allows off-grid households to access renewable energy simply by using a mobile phone. It's a powerful solution that brings clean energy to homes, significantly reducing reliance on fossil fuels. Over one million solar home systems have been sold, avoiding two million tons of carbon dioxide emissions. Over one million individuals have gotten access to high quality smartphones, enabling access to information and earning opportunities online. These fintech innovations bring strong climate impact into everyday life, encouraging people to adopt greener behaviors on a large scale. The third trend is the power of data, with fintechs harnessing this power in new and transformative ways. By disclosing their efforts and impact in areas such as reducing carbon emissions, and promoting diversity and inclusion, firms can demonstrate their commitment to sustainability and social responsibility, which further attracts more conscious consumers and investors. And FinTech is playing a key role in tracking and measuring the environmental and social impact of businesses and investments, thereby making sustainable finance more transparent and accountable. Take IFC's Malina tool, for example. It's an AI-driven platform that analyzes vast amounts of ESG data from emerging markets. This tool provides investors with deep insights into companies they're investing in, enabling them to direct capital towards those that are making real, measurable impacts. However, we also face challenges like greenwashing when companies mis misrepresent the environmental impact of their products and services. Regulators, including the Reserve Bank of India, are working alongside global counterparts to address this issue ensuring that sustainability claims are credible and trustworthy. As we've seen, FinTech is not just a tool for innovation. It's a driving force behind the sustainable finance movement. From promoting financial inclusion to developing innovative green products and using data to hold businesses accountable, FinTech is playing a profound role in reshaping the future of finance. So where do we go from here? Looking ahead, it's clear that collaboration will be essential. FinTech companies, traditional financial institutions, governments and regulators must work together to scale these solutions and amplify positive impact on sustainability. At IFC, we're optimistic. We believe that by investing in innovation and fostering collaboration across sectors, we can build a financial system that is inclusive, resilient, and sustainable for everyone. Thank you for your time today, and I look forward to continuing 
these discussions throughout the forum. Together, we can lead the way towards a greener and more equitable future.